Hello, my name is Darla Cathcart, and I'm a physical therapist who has specialized in working with patients with pelvic health conditions since 2004. Um, I've also performed clinical research, and I have a focused interest in working with patients who have vaginismus and insertional dyspnea. With both of these conditions, women have pain or difficulty with vaginal insertion for sex, gynecologic examinations, or tampon use. In particular, with vaginismus, women also usually report feeling like they have a wall that blocks insertion with difficulty controlling and relaxing the muscles around the vagina. Use of vaginal trainers, often called dilators, can be very successful with appropriate guidance, such as with a pelvic health physical therapist. Um, the purpose of this video is to walk you through how to use the vaginal trainers yourself. So to prepare, you first want to wash your vaginal trainers with soap and warm water, rinse them thoroughly, and then allow them to dry on a clean towel. You can then place them next to you on this towel for your treatment session. You'll also need to have some lubricant on, on hand that's water-based and isotonic with your vaginal pH. There are many good lubricant options available. A few examples are Slippery Stuff and Good Clean Love both of which can be found online or possibly in your local drugstore. Um, I encourage you to also check out Rosie's educational video called Lubricants for some more ideas. So next, you wanna determine what position you want to use. You can use any position that's comfortable to you and allows you to reach your vulvar region. Um, two common positions that many women report working well for them are either lying on your bed um, with your upper trunk supported in a semi-reclined position such as with some pillows behind your back against your headboard or against the wall behind your bed, or you can lie in your bathtub um, and scoot your back to the wall. And you can even fill the tub with some warm water, which can help for muscle relaxation for some people. Um, you can position your legs in any way that's comfortable to you. You might find that occasionally straightening or bending a leg during the session relieves any discomfort from being in one position for too long. Many women find that starting with uh, the knees bent and the feet planted on the bed or the bottom of the tub is a good starting point. Um, so once you have your trainers and your lubricant stationed near you and you are positioned comfortably and undressed from the waist down, your session can begin. Uh, there's a few concepts I wanna share before we get started. So first, while you're working with the trainers, you're likely to have some stretching sensations and some mild discomfort in the vaginal opening and the vaginal area, but working with trainers should not be painful. You may have soreness for about a day after use, um, but if soreness persists more than a day or two, then your treatment may have been a little too aggressive, so to speak and indicates a need for a little gentler work with your next session. I'm gonna guide you through how to keep the trainer experience at the appropriate level, and hopefully this will help avoid any pain or excessive soreness. Um, second, using vaginal trainers is not just a physical experience. Uh, for most women, using trainers can stir up a lot of emotions, such as fear or anxiety. Please know that this is very common. It will typically lessen over time as you practice using the trainers, However, if you're finding that you're having fear or anxiety that does not decrease with treatment sessions or having experiences such as panic attacks during trainer use, please talk to your doctor or find a counselor or therapist to walk you through this. You may also consider locating a pelvic health physical or occupational therapist who specializes in working with women who have vaginismus or insertional dyspnea. So next we're gonna move on to our step-by-step -step instructions for using your trainers. So you wanna start with the smallest trainers. Um, and if you're uh, so the smallest trainer, and if your trainer attaches to a handle, go ahead and attach that to the handle right now. And then next you wanna apply a generous amount of lubricant to the trainer. So um, if you have little packets like this, um, with the smaller size trainers, you can actually insert the trainer into the packet and kind of swirl it around. Uh, you can also take the packets and sort of paint on. Um, if you have a pump or a tube, um, you can ap ap apply it onto a paper towel to paint it on, or you can use your finger to paint it on. Um, but especially the first sessions, make sure that you apply a good, about a, uh, a good amount of lubricant all over the trainer. And then as you continue to practice, you can figure out how much lubricant um, you need if you wanna lessen the amount that you're using. 
So you're going to start with that smallest trainer and you're going to insert it into the vaginal opening. And I'll also point out too that the vagina is angled slightly towards the rectum. So you don't want to go straight in because um, sometimes you can bump into the urethra and that can be uncomfortable. But if you kind of angle slightly downward, um, that can be um, helpful for inserting the trainer. So you're going to insert the trainer and stop at the point where you first begin to feel some discomfort or stretching. So this might be with the trainer just barely inserted at the opening, um, or it might be with the trainer inserted a good bit of the way in or all the way in. So there's no goal for how far to insert the trainer. You just wanna stop at the point wherever you first start to feel some discomfort or stretching. If you're able to insert this first trainer all the way in and you don't have any discomfort, this is a good time to pause the video, remove that trainer, and move on to the next size. Um, and continue moving through the sizes until you find the first one where you get just a little discomfort with inserting that trainer. So once you've identified the trainer that you're going to start with, um, and you've inserted to that point where you first have discomfort, keep the trainer at that amount of insertion that you're comfortable with. And take a nice, easy breath in as if you're smelling some freshly baked cookies. And then as you exhale, gently squeeze your pelvic floor muscles around the trainer and hold that for a few seconds. And then release your muscles as you take a breath in again. And then exhale and gently squeeze again and hold, hold, hold. Good. And release the muscles. Inhale one more time. And then exhale and squeeze and hold, hold, hold. Good, and now release, excellent. And now you're gonna keep your trainer at this depth and keep your muscles at rest. And now you're gonna use the trainer to gently provide some pressure against the back wall of the vagina. So just hold this gentle stretch. And I'm actually gonna watch a timer over here um, for 30 seconds. So we're gonna hold that stretch for 30 seconds. And all you need to do is breathe and just focus on keeping your muscles as rested as possible while you provide that stretch. And just remembering that we're not giving pressure to a point where there's pain. We're just going for a gentle stretch or a slight discomfort. And we just have a few more seconds. Good, and now you're gonna let that pressure off and we're just gonna take a little break here. So you're just gonna keep that trainer inserted to this depth while we rest for a few seconds. And now we're gonna repeat that same contract, relax process again. So again, take a breath in, exhale, gently squeeze your pelvic floor muscles around that trainer and hold, 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 and release. And again, breath in, exhale, hold, 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 good, and release. And one more time, breath in, Exhale, gently squeeze and hold, hold, hold. Good, and release. And with the muscles at rest and your trainer still at the same depth, you're now gonna provide pressure towards the right side of the vaginal wall. So almost, I'm gonna remove the trainer for a second just to show almost like you're pressing towards that right hip. So with that trainer inserted, just press towards the right side. So we're giving a stretch to the right side of the vaginal wall. And so again, I'm gonna watch our timer over here. We're gonna hold this stretch for 30 seconds. And remembering to take some nice, easy breaths as we hold that stretch. And keeping our muscles as relaxed as possible. And keep breathing. Excellent. And now we're gonna let that pressure off. We're gonna take a little break again here for a few seconds. So again, we're not losing our insertional depth. We're keeping that trainer inserted the whole time. Um, and we're gonna repeat that process again with that contract relax. So again, breath in, exhale, gently squeeze, hold, 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 and release the muscles. And again, breath in, exhale, gently squeeze, and hold, hold, hold and release, and one more time, breath in, exhale, gently squeeze, and hold, 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 good, and release, 
And now we're going to provide pressure to the left side. Again, I'm going to watch the timer over here for you. And we're just going to breathe and continue to hold that gentle stretch to the left side. And remembering that we're not going to a point of pain. We're just holding a nice, easy stretch. And we have just a few more seconds. And keep breathing. Excellent. All right, and now we're gonna let that pressure off. And we're gonna take a little break here, but we're also going to do, whoops, lost my pelvic floor. We're also gonna do um, a little bit of a reassessment. So with the reassessment, what you're going to do is, um, now that you've had a little short break, you're gonna take your trainer and see if you're able to insert any further. So if I was initially inserted this far in, I might see if I can go just a little bit further in. If you're not able to go further, that's okay. But if you're able to go a little bit further, you're again gonna stop at the point where you first start to feel discomfort. And that's the new place where we're gonna to continue to work with that contract relax. Um, if you're able to now insert this trainer all the way in and you don't have any discomfort, this is a good time to pause the video, remove this trainer and move on to the next size. So again, finding the, the first trainer that's going to create a little bit of discomfort and a little bit of stretching. So now we're gonna repeat those same steps again. Um, so start with taking that nice, easy breath in. And then as you exhale, gently squeeze around the trainer and hold, hold, hold and release. And again, breath in, exhale and squeeze and hold, hold, hold and release. And one more time, breath in, exhale, gentle squeeze, hold, hold, hold. Excellent. And now we're going to do the same thing that we did a moment ago with our muscles at rest. We're going to take that trainer and give pressure towards um, the bottom of the vaginal opening or towards the rectum. And again, I'm going to watch that timer for 30 seconds. And if you were able to insert your trainer a little bit further, or if you move to a larger trainer, you may notice a little bit more stretching sensation through the vaginal walls, totally normal to feel. And you're just gonna continue to breathe and hold that gentle stretch. We have just a few more seconds. And keep breathing. Excellent. And now you can let that pressure off, take a little break. And now we're going to repeat that process again. So again, breath in, exhale, gentle squeeze and release. And again, breath in, exhale, gentle squeeze and release. And one more time, breath in, exhale, gentle squeeze and release. Good. And now a little pressure over towards the right side. And we're just gonna hold that stretch just like we did before. And so again, I'm watching the timer for you. We're gonna go for about 30 seconds total and just keep breathing, nice, easy breaths in through the nose, out through the mouth and just hold that gentle stretch. Good, we're almost to that 30 second point and just keep those muscles at rest. Good, and let that pressure off. We're gonna take a little break here for just a few seconds. We're gonna repeat that process again. This time going towards our left side, but just starting with just the uh, trainer inserted, no pressure yet. Start again with taking that breath in. Exhale, gentle squeeze and release. And again, breath in. Exhale, gentle squeeze and release, and one more breath in, exhale, gentle squeeze, and release, and now pressure to the left side, so we're just going to hang out for 30 seconds again, and just continue to breathe steadily, and remember too, with our pressure, we're not trying to go to a point of pain, just a little gentle stretch, or a little bit of discomfort, and just continue to hang out there, and breathe. Good, and just a few more seconds. You're doing a great job. And keep holding. Excellent, and now let that pressure off. 
let's take a little break here for a moment. We're gonna, we're gonna go through that routine one more time, but first we're gonna do our little reassessment. So you notice we've stretched towards the back wall, the right side and the left side. Um, so we're going in those three different directions and then doing a little reassess. So again, reassessing to see if you're able to insert that trainer a little bit further. Um, if so, continue again till the point where you first get discomfort. If you're able to insert this trainer all the way with no discomfort, then you'll go ahead and remove this one and move on to the next size. So you might pause the video for a moment while you swap out to the next size. Um, and so again, we're going to repeat that one more time to take us to about 10 minutes total of our um, contract relax and our trainer insertion. So again, we're going to get started back um, with just stretching at the midline, but we're going to start with no stretch. Um, take a breath in. Exhale, gently squeeze and hold, hold, hold and release. And again, breath in. Exhale, gently squeeze and hold, hold, hold and release. One more time, breath in. Exhale, gently squeeze. Hold, hold, hold. Good. And now a little pressure to the bottom. And we'll just hang out here for 30 seconds and just continue to hold that stretch. So again, I'm gonna keep watching the timer for you. Um, I'll mention here too, that every now and then you may wanna switch which hand that you're using on the trainer, just to give your arms a little break. We don't want you to get tension in your shoulders. Um, and keep holding that stretch and keep breathing for a few more seconds. Good, and now let that pressure off. Take a little break here for a brief moment. We're gonna repeat that process again. So breath in. Exhale, gently squeeze, hold, 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 and release. And again, breath in. Exhale, gently squeeze, hold, 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 and release. And one more breath in. Exhale, gently squeeze, hold, 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 and release. And now you're gonna give pressure over to that right side. So hold that little gentle stretch again. I'm watching the timer for 30 seconds. And just continue to breathe steadily. Good, and remembering not going to a point of pain, just a little gentle stretch, a little gentle discomfort. And just hold there for a few more seconds. Excellent. All right, you can let that pressure off. We're gonna repeat this just one more time. So again, take a breath in. Exhale, gentle squeeze and release. And again, breath in. Exhale, gentle squeeze and release. And one more time, breath in. Exhale, gentle squeeze and release. Excellent, and now pressure over to the left side again. And just hold that gentle stretch. I'm gonna watch the timer again for 30 seconds. Um, and I'll say here too, it doesn't matter if you stretch to the right side first or the left side first, um, but we're just stretching towards the back wall, the left and right sides. We don't stretch up towards the top because you can press into the urethra and that can be very uncomfortable. So stretching towards the back and the sidewalls gets most of the pelvic floor pretty adequately. All right, and you can now let that pressure off, take a little break. Um, and so at this point, um, you've been using the trainers for a total of about 10 minutes. So this is a good stopping point if you are just getting started with vaginal trainers. Um, and this is also a good time if you're stopping to sit on a cold pack or a baggie of ice or a bag of frozen peas wrapped in a pillowcase or a dish towel. And that can help reduce post-stretching soreness that occurs with using the trainers. Um, if you've been using the trainers for a week or more, you can continue with the steps that we've been practicing for up to 20 minutes total. So you could go back and uh, re-watch the video to, to continue on. Um, at about two minutes at each time that you attempt to increase your, your vaginal trainer use time if you desire. Um, remember that when you're done to wash your trainers with mild soap and water, and then to allow them to air dry on a clean towel before you store them. So repeat this routine again in about two to three days from now. So you can perform this routine about three to four times a week total. Um, and you did a great job today. Good work with your trainers and we'll see you again soon.